You start. Hello, I'm Dr. Lee, and today I'm going to present to you a lesson on English grammar. Now, looking at the board here, using the sentences style to learn grammar, I would say that it is the fastest way and the most efficient way of learning grammar. It is the express way of learning rather than going from topic to topic. Look at the first sentence here. They went to Philippines to visit friend. This sentence is wrong, grammatically wrong. So how do we identify the error? First of all, Philippines. For all countries in Southeast Asia, including many parts of the world, we do not use the. And the word the or even an or even a. These three words comes under the category of articles. For countries in Southeast Asia, we do not use the except the Philippines. Therefore, grammatically, by rule, we should say they went to the Philippines. So this is the first mistake in this sentence. To visit friend. Again, this is another mistake. Why? Because the student here says friend, which we would understand as one friend. Therefore, again, an article is missing. Friend, F is a consonant. So what are consonants? Consonants are letters, for example, B, C, D, F, G. So because F is a consonant, we should put a friend to be correct. Therefore, the correct sentence for this, grammatically correct, is They went to the Philippines to visit a friend. So here, the grammatical errors falls under this category of articles. Now let us look at the second sentence. Al is bird which hunt for food in night. There are many grammatical errors here. Firstly, we do not start a singular noun, Al, with the word Al. So it is either Al's. This is grammatically correct. Or, we should say one out, which is an out. Again, the mistake with articles. So we should say an out is how many but One but Therefore, it should be a bird. Here, an out is a bird which this is a verb. This is a general statement. It is the truth. Therefore, when we talk about the truth or a general statement, when we are talking about one out or one person, the verb which follows must have an S. Therefore, the correct way would be an owl is a bird which hunts for food. And again, there is another error here. For night. We do not say in. This is a mistake in preposition. The correct preposition for night would be at. It is not in night but at night. So this whole sentence grammatically correct should be an owl is a bird which hunts for food at night. So because of all these grammar mistakes, this sentence is wrong. And the last question for this evening, sun rises in the morning and sets in the evening. Again, this sentence is grammatically wrong. Why? Because you do not start with sun. Although this is only one sun, there is only one of this kind in the world. 
Therefore, we should say the sun. Because there is only one sun. Rises is correct because we are talking about one. Therefore, the verb here, you should have an S over here. In the morning, and this is wrong. If you are talking about the subject sun, one sun, therefore rises. If this is rises, this should also follow by putting an S over here. Sex in the evening. So the correct sentence for this is the sun rises in the morning and sets in the evening. So there you go ladies and gentlemen. A lesson done with different grammatical errors pointed out for you. I hope you have learned something from this course and I will see you in the next lesson. Thank you.